quick review of the car. Well, stage one is mostly complete. I will be playing with the exhaust a little bit and that's about it. I don't think anything else needs to be done. Now as for the driving, you could see a little driving clip. Uh, I didn't push the car to the limit, nowhere, nowhere near the limit. As you can see I'm not uh, revving gears up, I'm just keeping it in a cruising speed because, well that's the point, it's a daily driver, it has pretty really long gearbox, gearbox ratios, and it's nice to cruise around. You can uh, keep pretty fast corner speeds as you can see, and just drive it relaxingly, let's say relaxingly, no, just drive it like, like cruising, I mean I like fast cruising speeds, keeping speeds through the corners, so as you can see that's the way I drive. As with an old BMWs, I'm really happy with uh, uh, the seating position, the ergonomics of your seating position, pedal spacing, uh, wheel is close to me, unlike some uh, Italian car makes that make the wheel like here, so it's a nice driving car. As for the suspension, well, with uh, front M2 lower control arms, it does tra tram line a bit, but again, uh, the front end is completely planted. There is absolutely no understeer, except if you're going like balls to the wall, 10 tenths, and uh, probably on a track, in on a track, it would understeer. But in uh, eight tenths driving, it's awesome. Now, uh, as for the other mods, brakes, well, they are fucking good. I mean, completely overkill for this car, but I always uh, like to have faith and have uh, confidence in my brakes. So that's why I went for these big puppets, and uh, I really, really love them. I mean, you can brake as hard as you want, you cannot overheat them, because even though with uh, around 200 horsepower, so, uh, well, this car does go quite a bit fast and you can develop big speeds, it still brakes handle it with no problems at all. And you can see the acceleration. Well, it's a completely different car. So, yeah, that one, if you have a 114i, 116i, Definitely go for a remap because it's a completely different car. Uh, now, would I do everything the same? No, no, I wouldn't. Even though I love the brakes, I would probably go with uh, a bit smaller 3 Series uh, 312 in the front, 300 mil in the back, single piston, piston calipers, and I could get that setup done for around 500 euro. And uh, the rest I would spend on either some cheaper coilovers or uh, Bilstein's uh, B8, B6, one of those and combine it with Ibo springs because while well, the suspension is pretty comfortable, it's, it's okay, it's predictable but it's not perfect, uh, you can feel that uh, yeah, the shock absorbers aren't really up to the job right now they, yeah, they are the weakest part of the car uh, what about the other mods? Uh, would I do the intercooler? If I was going for a stage one, yes, probably. It's cheap, easy, why not? If I was going for a stage two build, well, in that case, I wouldn't bother. I'd just go with a bigger, more expensive one and do it on the first try, as you should. Uh, now, what else, what else, what else do we have? Wheels and tires, I won't even mention that. You know that if you buy a car you need to get better wheels, better tires, so yeah, that's a no-brainer. Uh, rear sway bar, anti-roll bar. Well, actually, it depends on what you want. With it uh, you get a tiny bit less traction on this amount of horsepower. It's not a problem, but it does give you a little, bo a little bit more driftability, let's say. So that's a good thing, and it's, it was cheap, so why not? I think that about covers it all. So, uh, all in all, in general, I really think as a daily driver, this is a pretty good car. 
it's not a really a hot hatch let's say a warm hatch but it goes well uh, doesn't waste fuel like my mini does for example it's pretty practical a lot more practical than uh, let's say fiesta st i could have bought for the same money and uh, it's a real wheel drive which is an added bonus now talking about the money how much did it cost in the end all in all all the mods everything i have for this car 10,500 euros now i did most of the work myself so yeah that's a big saving but also uh, most of the parts i was doing were let's be honest bargain hunting and uh, getting the bargain price on all the parts i needed that's a special especially noticeable on the front end because i did the lci conversion for uh, 390 euro and I got uh, 450 460 back for my old parts so yeah that was a good deal and uh, also that's I didn't touch that mod yet but uh, yeah very important one the car looks 10,000 times better I would always go for that I mean it's personal taste but to me it made the car look 10,000 times better uh, so as for the expenses, I said 10,500 euro, but I still do have the old brakes, which I can probably sell for around 100-150 euros. The discs are pretty good, pads are pre practically brand new. When I bought the car, they were changed maybe a few months ago, a few thousand kilometers uh, before that. Uh, I still have the old intercooler, maybe get some money for that. Um, and yeah in that price uh, winter tires and winter wheels are also included so if you don't have that well let's be honest we can call it a 10,000 euro car which was the main goal of this project to build a 200 200 plus horsepower car for around 10,000 euro and as I said drives really good brakes really ex exceptionally good handles pretty well and for the last, that's about 1,000 kilometers, or not even that, 500 kilometers since we did the oil pump chain, it's been trouble free, no check engines, no, no, no any other crap like that, so finally it works as it should. Well, that's it for now, uh, I'll, I still have to do some pulls, and hopefully I would really love to do a small drag race between this and my brother's Clio 220 trophy just to compare it from, from the dig, let's say because he has an uh, EDC or a double clutch automatic transmission and launch control I don't, but I have the real wheel drive so I'm really interested to see uh, in smaller from, of, of, from the light in uh, smaller speeds up to, I don't know, 8-100 km per hour uh, which car will be faster uh, and the higher speeds, well, he has to more power, quicker shift, so yeah, he'll walk all over me. But again, see of the dig of the traffic light, let's say, which is faster, that would be nice to know. Either way, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.